Welcome. You are going through the walkthrough of the online course, the seven steps of developing your team. This is the last step. And this walkthrough, I want to share with you some practical principles of how you can find the people that fit the description that you're looking for, how you can pre-qualify others to, to see if your opportunity fits the individual and what they're searching for. We can do an entire class on recruiting, but we're not going to go in that route yet. We have done that with the Army of Youth School locally, but it wasn't recorded. So pray about that. We might make a do some trainings on recording and recruiting volunteers and workmen in the future. But uh, let me know if that'd be an interest to you. But until then, I'm going to share with you some other tips and methods that have worked very well for Washington God Ministries in acquiring volunteers. We've worked with over 50 different volunteers from all around the world who's been able to help the Washington God Ministry develop to be what it is today. And a lot of people um, assisted from putting together events, publishing, printing documents, shipping out DVDs, proofreading, editing videos, developing websites, designing graphics and managing channels and a variety of different things, given Bible studies and um, and attracting others and planning for camp meetings. We've we've worked with a, a variety of different people with Walks of God Ministries, and I'm going to share with you some of the main ways that we found those workers. One of them, my, the first step that we did in 2014 is we created a form a volunteer form. And I'm telling you, this is the secret sauce. This is the linchpin of this volunteer program that you have going on. It's this form that is, we call it get involved in ministry. We really believe that the greatest help that can be given our people is to teach them how to work for God and to depend on the, him. And so this this, this form we created in a program called Google Forms, part of the Google Drive. It's very simple. It's free, easy to put together. And then it just asks them some simple questions, contact information, what they're interested in. And when you go through and you hit next, it goes into more details about what skills they have, what background they have, what experience they have in this or that. And we get to know a little bit more about who they are and what they do. And that's very helpful and so we've had we've had um, I don't know anywhere between 50 to 100 people sign this form and uh, over the over the last five years and it it's it's been quite the journey being able to work with the different people and you learn something new every single time so this volunteer form is helpful because you can put this link on uh, a in your YouTube description of all your videos you can put the link on a call to action video maybe you're doing a Bible study on um, well we did a Bible study on overcoming depression and showing that part of overcoming depression we need accountability we need useful work we need to to study the Bible and share with others what God has shared with us and God has put us together in a family he's taken the isolated and put them in families and so we need each other so I encourage you to get involved in ministry. If you want good quality friends, join ministry. That was a call to action. And it was educational, it was informative, and it was encouraging them to join the team and to volunteer. So we sent them a link and several people continually sign up to join the team um, from that form. And it's a blessing to be able to hear from people. Another area we see, we have uh, the donate section. And while people are able to donate, we have uh, we have the greatest need. We have workers' fund. We've got offering different things. But then there's this "Let's change the world together," and we realize that some people are not able to donate their money, but they can donate their time. So volunteer today sends you to the volunteer form. We have a ways to give area. People can donate through mailing in, smart giving, or they can donate their time. They can, again, get involved. So you definitely want to make sure that that is located on different places throughout your website. Once you have the form, 
you embed it in that form and it makes it a lot easier. We even have this form on our home page. Have you considered volunteering? And so it lets people know that they have a part that they can play. And it's it's really well done in that regard. So I'll, I'll give you an, another example. We're going to go to Drive. And we're going to type in um, AOI workers form. Is it called volunteer? I think, I think it might be called volunteer form. And so we created, like I said, this is using Google Drive. And we have a form for the volunteer application. There we go. So here's a form that we created to just gather some information, see what people are interested in, and we can get their contact information. Norman really is the one who helped put this together and made it, made it possible. We're able to find out what they're interested in, where they're at in life, what their education is, and what their passions are in ministry, their experience in different things, and we're able to see uh, where, where they are spiritually, and you're able to basically pre-qualify them. With this form, we again, step two is find someone who has the results that you want and follow a pattern. Don't start from scratch. You don't have to start from scratch. If you want, you can use this form. You can modify it to your own context, whatever things you're looking for individually, you're able to do that. In the future, I'll be honest with you, what we wanna do is as we're defining more of the roles that need to be filled, I'm going to create some questions that are tailored to identifying their gifts, their skills, their talents. And we're going to basically, we're going to ask like, um, what's your, what's your favorite way to consume content, video, audio, text, pictures. And if they say pictures, we're going to be like, oh, they're more graphically minded. So then we're going to, we're going to narrow down to like, okay, next question. Um, are you are you art, art, artistic? It's like yes, and then it narrows it down, and so we're gonna find out, and then at the end give them a suggestion based on the answers that they have submitted. We're basically doing a placement test or helping them to find, identify their unique gifts, to identify their calling, their their talents, and their interests, or the areas that they want to be educated in, and we can provide education, and for exchange for their for their help or their assistance. And, and so that could be a, a way to help people to find where they fit in the Lord's army. And um, through this form, we're, we're going to modify it and, and do it in that regard. But there's two examples that we use. The Three Angel School of Health has this form that they put together where they ask different students before they come out where uh, some questions. And we took some of those and we used, modified them and we used the ones that were applicable to our situation. So they were really good questions, good base. We also um, volunteered for some for some online volunteer opportunities like over at life.church. That's a big church that they have an online church and they have an all online volunteer opportunities. And so if they're already doing what we are seeking to do, then why reinvent the wheel? We did a little undercover detective um, kind of pretended like we were a volunteer. We went through their form, saw the type of questions they asked, and there was two really good questions that we got out of that. Um, some other ones too, but two that we never thought of, and we're glad that we have that. So this is the type of thing that we have so far, and uh, I'm telling you, this little tool right here is going to be your friend. As you're talking to people on Messenger, in person, or wherever, and you discern a talent, you're like, hey, have you ever thought of working for God? Have, have you ever desired to use your talents to share with others? And you're going to find that people, most Christians have a desire to share, but they don't know where to start. They don't know where they fit in. And many churches, sadly, are not utilizing the talents and the gifts of the, the members and the body that is there. And there are so many willing people. It's just the way that we approach them is not in a way that would actually attract them to want to join. So I'm sharing with you some principles that are going to really help you as you develop your team by God's grace. And I hope that 
that this last walkthrough and the final video is going to be a help and aid in you in this journey as you're developing team after team after team because really what we need right now is not workers we need leaders who are able to train and cultivate the talents of other workers and develop we need leaders of leaders who will lead out teams and help see a bigger vision for the lord's work God is not limited by your circumstances, friends, and he doesn't give you a dream based on your budget. Our Father is rich in resources. Don't forget that. Don't limit God, and God will do great things through you. Congratulations on being a team leader and for, for finishing this course. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help answer them in the future.